Okay. Now we just gotta have a chat with this person. Do I have to talk to him? Him? Sorry. No, but it's good to get more insight in the game, so the morning light. Hell yeah! We're with the morning light. You've seen the flyers, you've seen our commercials, you'll probably even talk to some of our good people. Can't escape the light, my friend. It's all fucking encompassing. Like air. We're like air. Breathe it. I'll give you one thing. I did see you in a flyer, but I really didn't give a damn about you guys. I'll say that, but... If that's all you have to say about this, uh, this crew that's, that you have over here, then... Okay, what about the fog? What do you know about the fog? We were, you know, just passing through with our little band of merry fucking hippies. When that shit rolled in from the sea, like whipped cream on a blueberry pie. Oh, wow. Okay, didn't need to know that. Anyway, I don't know what this is. So, what what can you tell me about this? Beaumont's got a direct line with Marcard himself. Knows him personally. That's like knowing someone who knew Jesus, you know? A red telephone to our motherfucking savior. Is he talking about the priest? Is that really his name? Huh. What can you tell me about secret societies? So, you guys, you run around like you're young gods. Like you rule the fucking planet. I gotta say, I thought I was arrogant back in the day, but I was nothing. Nothing compared with you people. You take arrogance to a whole new level. I think he's talking directly about the Illuminati, which probably would make sense, because I would say they really are arrogant. But anyway, let's do this mission. Rolls downhill. A carrier must make a speedy delivery of an important package, but many dangers lurk outside the safety of the camp. Okay. Bring this to the rendezvous point and get the hell back to Dodge. Don't stop for red lights, don't stop for a smoke, don't stop for a piss. Comprende, amigo? Wait, wait! What the fuck? Wait! We're not done, amigo! Listen. Don't fuck this up. Focus. Focus. Leave this circle, and you gotta watch your back. Plenty of creepy crawlers out there, no voodoo to keep you safe. But this is what you signed up for, right? There's more to the morning light than clean living, handing out flyers on the subway and trying to get vertical with Miss Dreadlocks from Orientation Week. We're harbingers of change, dude. We're prophets of mutation. We're disciples of doom. But change won't happen unless we up and act. Sure, Rome wasn't built in a single day, but it sure as hell wasn't built by deadbeat procrastinators lazing around on their asses, smoking weed, either. Just get it done. Bees on me 24-7, dude. That's how this thing works. Shit rolls downhill. And the boss has made it pretty clear this is important, and it's got to be taken care of now, not later. Not when you feel like it. Toot fucking sweet. Comprende? Everybody's got to pull their fucking weight, dude. Anybody else is just dead weight. Wait a minute, so the way how I saw that, you basically told him to wait just so you can talk shit and then tell him to go and because that's all he did he was talking shit and he was reassuring how important this package is yes we get it it's important now can i go I w I, that's my reaction to the delivery boy that's would have been my reaction if i was the delivery boy just saying yes i get it it's important now can you shut up and let me go and no but he just want to talk shit and whatnot but i did like hearing him talk shit though it was pretty enjoyable <laughs> wow how anticlimactic <laughs> shit anyway fuck me what the fuck was that thing jesus christ man i'm shaking like a fucking leaf I don't... Oh, fuck! The package! Fucking monster ran off of the fucking package! 
Jesus Christ, she's gonna fucking freak when he finds out. And Beaumont, man, fucking Beaumont. Shit rolls downhill. I'm a dead man walking, a dead man. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. Hey, hey, you got, like, superpowers, right? If you get that package back, you're in, man. In like fucking Flynn. What are you talking about? What, what if I don't want to be in? You know what? Fuck it. For the mission's sake, let me... Let me help this guy. <laughs> I gotta follow the blood trail. There's no way he left this many blood, because if that was the case, that guy wouldn't even be talking. He would have been dead. Eh, fuck it. It went pretty far for a guy with a package. Damn. What the hell is that? Is that even his head? No, that's his broken tail. There you go, that's his head. <laughs> Shit. And he dazed me. Screw you. If you're gonna daze me, you might as well just go far. Like, you know, run away to the hills or something. But no, he ran for like... What, like 12 feet away from me? And then he stopped too. Like, why would you stop? You dazed me. You knew I was gonna kill you. You might as well run away, right? <laughs> right, take the package. Which is right here. Oh, wait, I could have just taken the package and ran. I didn't need it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Turn the package to the carrier. This forest is pretty dark. Damn. That's awesome, man. Jesus Christ, I figured I was done for. I uh, mind making the delivery? Must have fucked up my leg real good. I can barely walk. It's not far. Just over in the tunnel. There's a drop-off point in a crevice in the wall where we leave all packages. Well, nobody needs to know, right? Just you and me. I'll put in a good word with Shay. I'll put in the fucking word with Shay. Deal? Why don't I just take you to the hospital? I mean, you seen the blood that he left? How are you still talking? <laughs> Seriously. But, again, for the sake of the mission, let's deliver this. And there you go. Wait, I'm just gonna leave it there? Okay, but if anybody else takes that, that ain't my problem. <laughs> Kodos for not arousing suspicion. Take the long view and seek to infiltrate the morning light. They're into more than flower power. We're especially interested in the identity of B. Che a commute lifter and survivor of MK Ultra, you can imagine how he feels about authority. He oozes hippie cred and is very good at bringing deadbeats into the foil. Fold, sorry. The fact he's been herding them to King's Mouth to go f packages is beyond troubling. Fun fact: people burn in Oregon, Oregon are three times more likely to become cult leaders, so the odds are we're shaking against Che all along. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, that lowers down my attack rating. Nope. Wait, what does this do? Hit rating, health, and attack rating. Okay. And this one? I'll take this one. The middle one. And I'll equip it. Did I equip this? No. Let's see, did I put anything else? Nothing. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, man. You didn't tell Shay, did you? Dude, you're still here. Can, can I at least carry you? Or Dude! Oh, he disappeared. <laughs> I was about to say, like... <laughs> I almost forgot about him, too. <laughs> but it's funny because I just did his mission for him. Anyway, the next available mission is this one. Sandra of of the Morning Light is making a pickup and would welcome some company and perhaps protection. Okay.
our intrepid fucking hero. Pretty impressive stunt you pulled out there. I got my good eye on you. Hey! Hey, Cassie! This is the one. Hey there, hot stuff. I like your style. And your weapon. Cassandra is our resident Mary Magdalene. Don't let those doe eyes fool you. She'll eat you up. I do have a big appetite. Comes with being southern, I guess. Not that Jesus here would notice. He's immune to my female charms. Boy's got no spunk. Anyway, Che, I need to talk to you. There's an issue with, uh, you know. Who's doing the pickup? I am. And who else? I'm going solo. I can handle myself just as well as... Not gonna happen, babe. You could get your pretty little ass hurt bad out there. Your concern is heartwarming, Jay. I'm sure it's got nothing to do with wanting to keep an eye on me. Trust issues. Hey, feel like doing us a favor? Call it your ticket to a new Jerusalem. When we finished building it. <sighs> if that's the kind of company you're talking about, well then... I might be... flexible. Very, very... flexible. She's talking about sexual positions. That's what that little pause was. It's her idea subtlety. Fuck off. We could get to know each other better. I'd like to find out what lies beneath those still waters. Oh, and don't worry. It's not far. And we won't do anything you don't want to do. Okay with you, Jesus? She said over eight things that sounded remotely sexual. I mean, come on. I'm not stupid, man. I know what she means. You don't have to say, oh, she means sexual things. I already know that. Come on. <laughs> I'm really not stupid. I will say this once, but I wouldn't fall for it. I mean... I don't know her, I don't even like her, and she looks pretty bad to me, so... Yeah, we're not doing anything. Since she, since she says, I won't do what you don't want to do, well, okay, we're not having sex then, right? Because I don't want to have sex with her. Does this game even allow you to have sex? No, I, nah, I doubt it. I extremely doubt it. <laughs> I mean, for God's sakes, the old republic gave you hints of having sex with somebody, and they don't show it. Alright, so Cassandra's right here. I gotta escort what her. What the fuck happened here? Somebody's been tampering with the security. We need to be careful. Lucky thing I have you here. Maybe I'll get to see you. Flex your muscles. Ignoring that comment. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so I got two places. Oh, wait. Never mind. Just gotta go straight ahead, apparently. Wall of lasers. Security cameras. Should be easy Careful. to avoid. Motion sensors. Yeah, he's paranoid. He really treasures his privacy. I gotta res I gotta say one thing though. Motion sensors pretty much suck. You, you might as well deal with the lasers and not the cameras. I mean, Keep your head down. how the hell did you not censor? Fuck's sake! Who wears purple to death patch? No sense of fashion whatsoever. There's a box over there somewhere. I've seen B use it. Controls the laser grids. If we could get that reactivated, 